We are broadcasting live from what's left of Los Scandalous Shake and Bake Arena, one of the few structures to survive the big one. The fans are munching on tofu burgers, sipping Chardonnay, and getting ready for some Newton football. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's going to have it all. The San Francisco 40 Nightmares take on the Los Scandalous Dam. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Welcome to another game day here on the MFL Network. Grim Blitzrow along with my partner, Brickhead Mulligan. How you doing? Great city, isn't it, Bricks? Fantastic city. My motel even has free color TV. Oh, that's and nice. an ice machine that works. Wow. That was police tape blocking the bathroom because of the photographers in there. But other than that, no complaints. They, they give you free jelly at breakfast, too. Sounds like a real winner. And it's first and ten. with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and that's some good old-fashioned downhill running as he picks up nine yards on the play. And that'll bring up second and one. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. And it's first and ten. And, and the offense jumps on sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. And there goes the ref. You know, Bricks, it's a tough job for a ref to control an angry, fired-up gang of mutants. Kind of like asking a zebra to serve tofu kebabs to a pack of starving lions in the Serengeti. You know, Grim, I killed a ref in Rio once. Eh, just to watch him die. First down in a mile. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. Second down in a very lot. needs a miracle. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Man, this coach must have played too many video games. You gotta punt it here, come on. Oh man, I love this dirty trick. The quarterback, and he scores!
are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Oh, sweet mother of fornicating monkeys! He was destroyed on that play! Oh, that's a very weird expression, Grim. Ever been in a monkey house at the zoo, partner? Disturbing to say the least. Just like this. The kicker just ended up in the meat wagon. They'll need to find another player on their bench who can kick field goals. Good luck with that. And it's first and ten. First down! And this guy is a stud, Bricks. They're telling me! Nice run! No, I mean, he's a real stud. He works at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. That's how you run it, folks. Picks up eight there. Second down and two. And that'll be a first down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf, huh? And it's first and ten. Oh, seriously, man, you think you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. Second down and long. Oh! And the defense jumps on sides and attacks the QB. If this guy could talk before he died, what do you think he'd be saying, Bricks? Psycho killer! Just gonna say, what the fuck, 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 fuck! Second and three. Second down and 
Ain't gonna happen, partner. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Oh, great play! He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. And the work feet right in the crowd. And they line up for the extra point. Defense had enough with this rep and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. It's good. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. And it's first and ten. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to play some bat. Second down and more than the QB would like. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. First down! This guy just loves to hit people as hard as he can, Grim. I don't even think he knows what a first down is. First and eight to go. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. And that'll be second and eight to go. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. 
When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And it's first and ten. hit that was and that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size because he just walked all over him second down the size of bricks wiener hey sorry partner <laughs> this guy's running like an old guy looking for a bathroom first down First and ten. You know this berserk 30 trick ain't fair to the QB. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. First and ten. He is fighting for every... And this guy runs angry and runs hard. First down. And it's first and ten. And the ball freezes through the defense, cutting a defender in half. Second down in a very lot. Oh, he goes, oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. And he's off to the races. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's in the defense is on his heels. He's at the 10. It's a touchdown. Now, some would argue that demons don't have a place in this league, but with moves like that, <laughs> I have to disagree. Uh, you're just saying that because he ripped your face off and used it for bookbinding. I don't see how that's not a valid reason. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. First and ten. The defense better look out. The offense called the Beast Boost Dirty Trick. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. And it's first and ten. Sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. First and eight to go. Nine, nine, one. 
Hot two. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. First and ten. The quarterback had no time to throw, and the defense gets a big sack. <laughs> Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Six-yard gain on that catch. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. And that's a nice run for a first down. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. And it's first and ten. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. <laughs> and here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. And they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the time out there in halftime. Second down and nine. And that's how you run the football. First down. The QB saved some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. 
Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. And like a monkey truck. Oh, what the brutal hit. And it's first and... Hey, timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense called plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they... And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First down and one. Perfect pass and the score! Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. <laughs> it's a tie game at the end of quarter two. The teams are deadlocked in a fierce struggle today. We'll be right back with today's halftime show brought to you by Monsatan Industries. Eat their delicious Franken food. Hey, during the half, can you pick me up a soil and beer? The teams come out of halftime all tied up and ready to battle it out. Well, oh, geez, Grim, I hope someone ties them soon. They gotta play football. <laughs> the teams are lined up for the kickoffs. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team... Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Brick? Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And it's first and ten. Bricks. Yeah, and I nearly blew three times the legal limit last night leaving the stadium. And I nearly did not get arrested, get thrown face first into a paddy wagon, get taken for a rough ride. And I nearly did not have prison sex and lockup last night. Nearly ain't a good thing, Grim. Trust me. And then Cats will give them a first down. I don't know if there is, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Third and four. 
since the players go berserk, they've been known to rip the heads off of enemy players. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Second down and six. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. It. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I don't have so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And that player has ran into the end zone with a burst of speed. Yeah, I think he's more of a downers guy than a speed seat trip. He's running from his team. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. He goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. And he zings it in there for a nine-yard completion. They are moving the ball now with authority. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot one, hot two. Down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one. Punishing hit, the quarterback goes down. Third down and long. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. And it looks like the offense is desperate for a first down. Oh, wow. A run on fourth didn't work out. Oops. Now these guys need to talk to the ref about those calls. And by talk, I mean stomp them into the ground. <laughs> Yeah, 
You know, sometimes the best thing, it's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And he snags the punt and looks boom! And it's first and ten. You can tell he's a berserker because he's broke. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking it with me. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got to uh... <clears throat> And that'll be second and eight to go. That's a four-yard gain. Third down and three. Tired of the quarterback's tight spot. He was still talking. He'd be saying, "Psycho killer, Keska say, what the fuck, 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 fuck." And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down and ten. Quarter three comes to an end, but this game is far from over and will be decided in the final quarter. Second down and ten. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Second down and a very lot. Good for 10 yards. Most kickers should be able to make this one. This kid can make it. Find out next time on NFL Game Day. Uh, NFL isn't episodic, Bricks. You've got a player used to playing another position coming into the game and trying to kick a field goal for his team. And it's first and 10. Killer, it was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's 
First and ten. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. And he oh no, it's a sticky ball, dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend. I did. I love it. And the beat goes on. They're putting together a textbook drive, which is remarkable since no one can read. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Second down and five. Hot, hot one, three. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Just received a pair of very expensive alligator skin shoes. They need to put some cement shoes on before this game slips away. I always wanted a pair of alligator skin shoes, Grim. <laughs> I heard though when you put them on, they feel just like chicken skin shoes. Second down and more offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down in a mile. Hot one. Three. Ouch! What is this? Eighties wrestling? Third down and well, good luck. That's a catch for a ten-yard game. They get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy and he gets three points for it. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Two-minute warning sound. Sounds like what, Grim? Sounds like the asshole I'm living on. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the brutal hit! Either the defense is trying to keep some time on the clock for their offense, or someone let a real bonehead touch the controller. Second down and six. What? I mean, first down! What the hell was that? And that's two timeouts gone for the defense. But they've really got to get the ball back to their offense. But the offense has like 30 balls over there on the sideline just waiting for them. Why don't they just use them? Ask the ball boy. He didn't do nothing. Defense calls its final timeout. Good. I gotta run to the John. That means I gotta deal with that grubby little bathroom attendant again. Always pushing his lifesavers, dirty comb, hairspray, cheap cologne on me. Hey, I'm here to take a crap. Not get ready for a date. Well, you never know who you're gonna meet when you're in the shitter. Just saying. And they went to the air and came up big. <laughs> down and eight. And the quarterback finds his man for the first
first down. And it's first and ten. Second down and a lot. Pow! With the brain scrambler! And it's first and ten. And the lost scandalous dam win this one. The entire game was trench warfare. Both teams battling back and forth, bruised and battered, but in the end, there could be only one winner. There are winners in my book. I think that a feeder team should get a participation award because yeah, I tried really hard. Why don't you try real hard to shut the fuck up? Nice mouth. Why don't you try to lay off the Scots, Junior? Suck on it. Real nice. Let's go to the game's MVP. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.